Hi, I'm David North. We all know life is good, but it can be so much better when we live it with a plus. If you're planning on going into retirement, you cannot have debt because in reality, in order to continue to, to, continue to pay those expenses, you have a limited income now. So if you don't reduce your debt or eliminate your debt before you go into retirement, you'll find that that debt will just continue to grow. And then you'll find that you really don't have the funds to pay that. And that's when you'll need to see somebody like me when you're living paycheck to paycheck or you're waiting for that social security check to come in or your retirement check because you just didn't plan properly. Well, I don't think it's ever too late to start thinking about retirement. In fact, we talked to our 20-something year old clients about retirement. So at 55, in terms of considering retirement, you need to take a look at what's going on in your life. Where are the kids at? Where are your parents at? Where's your job at? Do you plan on continuing to live here? Do you want to retire someplace else? How much money will you need to retire? All of those are considerations before you can make the decision, am I ready to retire today? Living longer is definitely more the norm than it was in the past. So when if you're 55 or 60 and you consider retirement at 20 something, you may not have expected your lifetime to exceed 80 or 85 years old. But the reality is that more people are living longer. So when you're considering retirement, you know, at 55 or 60 years old, it's not 20 years. It may be 40 years. Yes, there are definitely formulas as to whether you can be a retiree. One of them is really based upon how much savings and retirement planning that you've done to date. If you haven't done any retirement planning and you have no 401ks, IRAs, or savings, then retirement really is not a realistic option. But if you have done the planning and you have some money put away, perhaps even in a life insurance policy that you plan to take proceeds from, you need to know how much you're gonna be able to live off of and what you're going to be able to take out of those retirement accounts. Retirement at 50, 55, 60 may not be that realistic these days. It's more realistic consider to, to consider retirement closer in your 70s. And we're finding more and more people working longer because they need the money, that their retirement accounts are not what they thought they were, their investments are not as, as lucrative as they had been years ago, and that they're finding also that because their lifespan is going to be longer, that those working years are, are really not unattainable. Well, I think you need to know what your budget is today in order to determine what you need to retire on for tomorrow. So how are you living today? Is there money in the bank? Do you have that prerequisite nine months, 12 months of cash living expenses saved up in the bank? Or are you living still paycheck to paycheck? I think that if you're not meeting your current expenses, that um, retirement should not be on the near horizon, but it should be something maybe to consider in the future. You should reduce your debt. You should definitely live within your means. Consider what your budget is and determine where you're going to live and what future expenses that might not be expected. Maybe you'll have a child come back to live in your house. So if that's the case, you'll need more money. Or maybe you'll help pay for or assist an aging parent. If that's the case, you'll need some additional funds as well. There's absolutely a couple of things that you could do. One of the things that I suggest is to reach out to your trusted professionals, the people that you've worked with for your whole life. And that would be your wealth advisors, retirement planners, certainly your accountant, uh, your attorney, or somebody like myself who helps people and aids them in the future to stay out of debt and to avoid the pitfalls of, of debt-related circumstances for not proper planning. But reaching out to those trusted professionals is important. You can certainly find some information online, um, and there are some very good websites, but the best people to talk to are the people that know you best and know how to help you and the lifestyle that you want to achieve.